you and to make that easy for you ladies and gentlemen we present fresh light where we bring fresh newspaper headlines the limelight mondays to saturdays 8 30 a.m to 9 a.m on alia moye tv and radio watch like subscribe and make sure your notification is activated on our youtube channel you can also like and comment on our pages on facebook twitter and instagram at aliamoye tv and radio I'm sure Oli Moshe. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Fresh Light on the Yama YouTube video. Good morning. All right, on Fresh Light this morning, I will be looking at couples of newspaper in the studio. In the studio this morning, we have the Punch newspaper, the Nation newspaper, and the Vanguard newspaper. I will be starting with the Nation newspaper this morning on Fresh Light. On the Nation newspaper front page, we have we have this. Pashorati disputes with Adebanjo over a penny ferry. Page 6 captured this particular story. Oshun APC expels three. Ex Arabeshola's men. Eight, eighty one others. We care I will deliver a Bija metro line next year. Protest in Ondo Cross River over NDDC board. Our page 3 and page 29 captured this story. Are picking the bold headline on the nation newspaper this morning. Tinubu world leaders, UN, AU, EU, reject Gabon Junta. Obaseki free to fit federal roads in Edo State, says Minister. Our governor should not travelize critical infrastructure. You can also find this on the page five of the Vanguard of the Nation newspaper this morning. Also, six African coup deeply consigning at what African president should do by Oyebode, Keshi, and Ugusongo. You can also find this on the nation newspaper this morning. President Mons as national flag designer Taiwo Akikumi dies at 87. And on page, I hope find this on the nation newspaper this morning. Also, on the nation newspaper, you get to see the pictorial of the president welcoming group chairman of UBA Bank. The, all of these are many more stories you'll find on the Nation newspaper this morning. Going into the details. And the first story on the on the on the Nation newspaper this morning is uh, the board headline to for the story on the Nation newspaper this morning is uh Tinumbu Tinumbu World Leaders UN AU EU reject Gabon Junta. Wednesday's coup in the Central African country, Gabon, drew anger from the world leaders and international organizations. They asked the junta to return to their barracks and restore democratic order in the tiny, populated, oil-rich country. The coup, the sixth, sixth on the African continent in six years, came after, after the one in Niger Republic, Nigerian northern neighbors. The Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, is still battling to get the soldiers to respect, to respect constitutional authority and, killed, and quit power. In Libreville, a mountainous soldiers announced the takeover of political power. They put President Ali Bongo 
Odimba under house arrest hours after being declared winner in an election held on Saturday that would have extend, extended his family 55 years reign. President Bola Metinambu began rallying world leaders as news on coup fluttered in. He spoke with the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and some ECOWAS leader in his capacity as the chairman of the Authority of Head of States and Governments. Tinumbu World Leaders, UN, AU, EU, reject Gabon Junta, the, port, the nation newspaper. Still on the nation newspaper, I'm picking my first story. I will be picking it from Edo State. Obasa can free to fix federal roads in Edo, says Minister. Works Minister Dave Uma here yesterday clarified that governors can rehabilitate federal roads in the state. Following approval by the federal government, he said the administration will prioritize maintenance of federal roads across the country. Uma, he said the federal government cannot prevent governors from road repairs, which can enhance the welfare of the residents. He spoke on the infrastructure battle of the Tinubu administration uh, while expecting ongoing road rehabilitation in Lagos. He said the federal road will carry a resurf resurfacing of the third mainland bridge and pay more attention to concrete reinforcement of other roads in the country. Umahi rejected what he described as blackmail by Edo State Government Godwin, Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki, who had complained about the poor state of federal roads in the South South State. At the inauguration of Venerable Ebenezer Saiki as the second bishop of Akoko Edo Diocese held at St. James Cathedral, Ugogo Igara in Akoko Edo local government area, Obaseki alleged, alleged that despite many entreaties by administration, the federal government has refused to allow him to fix the dilapidated federal roads. And to read this story, you can pick the nation newspaper this morning. Obaseki free to fix federal roads in Edo, says ministers. Oh, lastly, on the nation newspaper the, uh, this morning, I will deliver FCT Metro line in eight months, says Wiki. Federal Capital Territory FCT Minister Yeson Wiki has pledged to deliver a metro line for for nations for nation for nation's capital in eight months. Wiki, who expressed the political will to deliver the project on schedule, spoke last night on Channel's television evening program Politics Today. The minister renewed for boldness in speaking his mind. Also, there is political family, main opposi opposition, People's Democratic Party, PDP, to expel him. Last Monday, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbo had, had sworn in Wiki and other ministers. The former River State Governor, who was assigned the portfolio of the FCT minister, is a leader in leading opposition party. Few few hours after his out of office, Wicked had told reporters that he would deliver on his mandate. The FCT minister promised to clear the cap capital city of all encumbrances without sentiment or prejudice to anyone. He also dismissed his insinuations that it was wrong for him from South South, South to be appointed the minister of FCT. I will deliver FC to Metro Line in eight months, says Wiki. We can take on the nation newspaper this morning for more details. Moving forward on fresh lights this morning, we're picking another newspaper, Vanguard newspaper. Nigeria's solar energy potential higher than current consumption, and this is coming from Ikeja Electricity. You can find this on page 19 on the Vanguard newspaper this morning. And NPP crisis. No group individual can remove transport so and this is coming from NEC. I dare anyone in PDP to suspend me. This is not coming from me. This is coming from Wiki, page 25 of the Vagan newspaper. Capture this story this morning. NYSC saga, right group, so federal government want Musawa sacked. Now, uh, page 8 captured this particular story. Tinubu Makide wants as Nigerian flag designer Akifumi dies at 87. Uh, to reach this task story, you can pick page, you can open page 6 on the Vagan newspaper this morning. 
I'm picking the bold headline Global Outrage over Ali Bogos Ouster in Gabon Coup. Page 5 captured this particular story UN, EU, AU, Commonwealth, US, Russia, France, other expresses concern. And while we sack President Ali Bobo Bagoni's army, and you can all of this, you can find this on the nation newspaper this morning. NSIA, stakeholders to improve cancer treatment in Nigeria. Page 9 captured this particular story. The France police to not end URCW Secretariat, Act of Dictatorship. Oh, this is coming from NLC. The Nigerian Labour Congress lamented over this. You can find this on page 9 on the Vanga newspaper this morning. Persero's replacement, NFF shortlist. Igwavo Salisu Finidi. Uh, you can find this on, on sports column this morning. Also, on Isheshe, Kwara Police Nab Islamic Cleric declared wanted. All of these are many more stories you'll find on the Vanguard newspaper this morning. Go into the details. The first story on the, on the Vanguard newspaper this morning FG to revamp steel sector to boost Nigeria's economy. The federal government has is as is said to revamp the nation's steel sector to enhance the economy as well as create employment opportunities. The Minister of Steel Development, Prince Shuaib Audu, said this in Abuja when he met with the head of agency and department in the ministry. Audu said that Nigeria's abundant mineral resources hold the key to reshaping the nation's economic landscape and extending the benefit of democracy to every Nigeria. By tapping into the latent potential in the, in the steel sector, channeling it into lucrative venture, we can ensure that the dividend of democracy reach every citizen. The steel sector stands as, its, as, as a pivotal pillar of Nigeria's industrial growth, carrying the potential to provide substantial job opportunity for the youth. To realize this vision, the government is fully dedicated to the implementing an extensive array of measures designed to attract reputable international investors, he said. FD to revamp steel sector to boost Nigeria's economy. You can take on the Vanguard newspaper to read details. Making another story on Vanguard newspaper this morning, Lando Dam states are clearing water channels in preparation, and uh, this is coming from NEMA. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, said yesterday, Lagdo Dam might commence full discharge of excess water should the region in Cameroon experience heavy and persistent rainfall. The Director, the director General, NEMA, Mustafa Habib Ahmed, who stated this during the Emergency Coordination Forum of Disaster Management Stakeholders in Abuja, also said, the state has begun preparation for release of water from the dam by clearing water channels. Uh, he, she, he said this particular meeting has been necessitated by the notification received from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the modulated release water from Lado Dam in Cameroon on the Benin River. The country has commenced release of water from the dam at the rate of 200 cubic meters per second. Uh, which is about 18 million, era cubic me 18 million cubic meter of water per day. This may result in, in front line, our uh, state experiencing flooding in subsequent days and weeks. It is of great importance to also note that the dam might commence full discharge of excess water in the event that the region experiences heavy amount of rainfall. So the NEMA boss also noted that there was no standing budget for impact on flooding from the Lando Dam, adding that there will be any outstanding budget until there was an assessment. To read details of this, you can pick Vanguard newspaper this morning. Lando Dam states her clearing water channels in preparation, and this is coming from NEMA. Still on the Vanguard newspaper, 23,000 people missing in Nigeria in 10 years. FG. Dr. Beta Edu, Minister of Humanitarian affairs and poverty elevation said on Wednesday that 23,000 people have been reportedly reported missing in less than a decade due to 
the insurgency in some parts of the country. Edu said this in Abuja at the stakeholders' engagement with the team. Where are you now to mark the International Day of the dis dis Disappeared? She saw that the, the figure represented half of the number of missing people in the whole of Africa. Edo said that the report of the missing people released by the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, and the Nigerian Red Cross Society, NRCS, was a result of the insurgency in some part of the country. Today, over 23,000 people, 23,000 persons are still missing. However, it is likely that this is just the tips of the iceberg as more efficiency efficient mechanism mechanism is needed to improve the reporting and forecastically traced case of missing persons she said the minister said the issue of missing people had become one of the most critical and long-lasting humanitarian consequences of armed conflict and such call for sober reflection 23,000 people missing in nigeria in 10 years fg you can take on the vanguard newspaper this morning from there we go on a short commercial break when we come back we give you details on the punch newspaper do stay with us thousands have been disappointed severely in their bid to see greener pasture abroad to those quack in the traveling agency business it is a rocket science that is not our case at tau South travels and talk we have in-depth details on how to successfully without stress help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world do you want permanent residential visa visiting and tourism visa student visa to places like europe america asia africa it's no big deal to us at tau South travels and tour our years of experience and expertise speaks volume for us let's process and secure visa for you to uk usa and canada within a twinkle of an eye we offer Aj and umrah services to our muslim faithfuls what are you waiting for consult us at number nine town south central mall sholanke street behind laroy hotel abiola way abel Kuta. 0802 0900 or 0806 578 4060. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Taos of Travels and Tour. Dog or policeman to evade arrest. You can also find this on page five. 
on the vanguard on the punch newspaper this morning taking the last story on the front page i then pp divided over tinubu's article fashion so trend fan so and others page four uh, page 14 captured this particular story i'm going into the details this morning the first story on the punch newspaper is a little new story gabon un commonwealth order condemn coup tinubu warns of spread President Bola Tinubu has expressed concern over the rising cases of coup in African countries, calling for a comprehensive consensus against the spread of contagious autocracy across the continent. President, the president said he was committed to working with the other African leaders to defend democracy on the continent. Tinubu stated this in his first response to the Wednesday morning coup in Gabon, just as the United States, United Nations, European Union, France, and and the Commonwealth voice concern over the political development in the Central African country. The military takeover in Gabon is coming one month after a similar incident happened in Ninja, where presidential guard overthrew the democratically elected president, Mohamed Bazoum. A dozen soldiers had appeared on Gabonese national television announcing the cancellation of election results said to have won by incumbent Odimba, Ali Bongo, and the dissolution of all the institutions of the Republic. The, the Montenegrin, led by the head of the Republican Guard, General Brice Guemia, also closed the border until further notice. The announcement came after President Ali Bongo, 64, was re-elected for a third term extending his family half century rule over the oil rich central african country of 2.3 million but the opposition described the poll as a fraud orchestrated by the ruling party gabon un Co commonwealth order condemned coup the number one of spread the punch newspaper uh, coming back to the west states uh, southwest states this morning over pastor set ladies on fire during special prayer a 21 year old lady identified as shukura owoduni has allegedly been set ablaze by pastor taiwo or debbie when he was trying to perform deliverance on her on her at his church um, church at his caribbean and seraphim maberu parish located in Ofi in the Shagam area of the Ogun state. And the Punch Metro gathered that the incident happened on the August 17, 2023, when the victim visited the church for special prayer at the pastor's invitation. And our correspondent further learned that the pastor directed the victim to buy Amazing Grace perfume, uh, local eggs, and a candle for special prayer. While praying for her, the pastor said to have poured the perfume on the ladies and the lady's body in and light the candle. Immediately after the pastor light the candle, Old Rooney was said to have gone up in flames, causing serious burns to her chest, shoulder, and legs. To read details of this, you can pick Punch newspaper this morning. Ogun pastor set lady on fire during special prayer. I'm uh, so sorry about this story. Punch newspaper punches it out this morning. Prayer section. Prayer section. And then let fire fire grant or fire crusade. May God may God help us Nigeria. Mm -hmm. At the punch uh, sports column this morning, Monaco signed Bola Balogun from Asna in thirty four million pounds deal. Asna striker following Balogo has now joined Monaco in Legon after a successful season with Still the Rams, where he scored twenty two goals. The young striker has signed a five years contract with the French team. Asna will receive 40 million euro, 34.4 million pounds for following Balogu transfer to AS Monaco, and they have included a 7.5% sell on clause in the day. Balogu, who has been with Asna since the age of 10, did not make any competitive appearance for the Gunners this season after returning from his loan spell at Reims. Balogu faced a tough competition for his starting spot in Asna forward line with Gilbert Eels. Eddie Inkecha and Kai Evans and Leonardo Trozard ahead of him in the pecking order. Asna signed for uh, Monaco signed Asna striker for Lani Balogun in 34 million pounds day. The Punch Sports newspaper this morning. And I think that's where we draw the curtains this morning on 
Fresh Light on Aliyamu TV. I mean, do join us tomorrow for another episode of Fresh Light on Aliyamu TV. I mean, I'm sure Olimo should. And, and I am Miss Kasu. Thanks for joining. Do enjoy the rest of the day.